Hello, hi, it's Stephanie from Our Natural Wisdom. Welcome to my weekly Reclaim Your Peace offering. It is on um, Mondays now at 2.30 p.m. Central Time. So good to have you here. Thank you so much for, for tuning in. And um, this is all about providing you just a few minutes of your day, 15 minutes, to come back to your heart, come back to your soul's guidance, to hear your intuition through connecting more deeply with Mother Earth. This is how we reclaim our peace. And the Earth is always offering you ways to reclaim your peace, especially through coming into presence, to returning to your deep wisdom, to your natural wisdom. I am an eco-intuitive coach and teacher, and I especially work with women who are struggling with anxiety and perfectionism. And boy, Mother Earth has so many gifts to share with you about how to heal these aspects of ourselves. So today we have a special celebration. It is the week of the summer solstice here in the Northern Hemisphere. Such a beautiful time of year. and of course sacred and um, having so much significance throughout the ages there are so many monuments and sacred sites that were constructed to honor the summer solstice and this time of the wheel of the year so it is always such an important time to acknowledge your connection with the earth at this time and to um, come back to that wisdom that you have, that ancient, sacred relationship that you have with Mother Earth and all that reclaiming that relationship can provide you in terms of healing and wisdom. So the solstice, the summer solstice is on Wednesday, but um, the whole week of the solstice has been a celebratory time. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you. So the whole week of the solstice is considered to be the portal, the solstice portal. It was a time of so many celebrations in ancient times. So our bodies and our, our, our minds and our spirits and our energy really want to return to this acknowledgement of the seasonal change because it means a lot for ourselves. We are, we are, children of nature, right? We are animals. We are in tune with the seasons. Even if we don't necessarily feel like we are or feel that we are consciously connected with the cycles of the seasons, we are. There is something within us that still holds on to that wisdom. And there is so much to be reclaimed in coming back to that and acknowledging the seasonal cycles in our lives. So of course the summer solstice is the longest day of the year in terms of daylight. It is a time where we are invited to connect more deeply with the energy of the sun, with the power of the sun, with the, the element of fire, with all of the empowerment and light that comes forth when we connect with fire, with fiery energy, with the everything that the sun provides us and while this time of year might seem like the time where we should be like super energetic and go 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 and hustle 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 that's really not what this season represents the season of summer is really about patience because it is about the time when the things that were planted in the spring are being nourished and growing. So the summer is all about patience and trust and really a, a time of, of nourishment. It's a time to restore yourself, to return to that nourishment that the earth provides you in every moment and especially the sun. So um, while the spring is really a time of growth and of action, and of planning the summer we're stepping into a time of nourishment and trust and patience all right so that's really the theme of the summer solstice i 
know that it is also an important time for us, for you to go within. The changing of the seasons is always a really a powerful time to go within, to check on where you're at inside, to check on your connection with your soul, with your intuitive guidance, your connection with your deep wisdom. And so today, as I was preparing for this teaching, the one thing that really came forward as I was walking through our gardens and just you know, taking that time to open my heart up to connecting with the messages that Mother Earth has for us at these especially pivotal times in the year that turn from spring to summer. I kept hearing how this is a time to recommit to healing ourselves, to going within and really being very sober, meaning very clear to the aspects of ourselves that are most in need of healing right now. And it may sound like a strange time to be doing that. Maybe healing for you is more associated with the winter months or with the fall when, you know, we're going into those darker times and those more introspective times. But really now is such a brilliant time to be focusing on going within and accessing those places of self-healing because of the nourishment that is available in the summer months, because of the energy of the sun offering you so much natural healing. And because of it is a time of patience. And boy, when we commit to a self-healing practice, to caring for ourselves in a new way, or bringing back some routines and rituals that we know will most serve us in a healing way, that is such a powerful gift to give ourselves. And what better time than in the summer when we can receive that, that light, when we can reconnect with the light that we hold within ourselves. And really above all, the message that I was hearing at this time is that it can be, it can feel sometimes um, self-serving or, you know, self-absorbent or whatever to choose to focus on self-healing. But that is the most important thing that we can do for ourselves. Because when we heal an aspect of ourselves that is most in need of that, we are not just healing ourselves, we are truly bringing vital healing to the entire world. When you heal yourself, you help heal the world. You help heal Mother Earth. You help heal the collective. You are helping to bring so much positivity and flow and alignment and connection to all of the good things in life, the things that are being offered to everybody in every moment. So I know that healing can be, uh, it can feel like a very big topic, right? So today I really invite you in honor of the summer solstice to, we're going to go into a little meditation here in just a moment to come into that place within yourself that you can hear your quiet, loving, and compassionate inner voice that is reminding you of healing that is needed for you at this time and to remind yourself of your powers of self-healing that you already know how to bring about the healing that will most benefit you and it can be anything from returning to a daily practice of a short meditation or going for a walk drinking more water eating healthier foods um you know returning to a place of worship there are so many ways that we can return to that commitment to recommit to that healing that we all need, to that nourishment that we all need, to bringing back energy to that light that you hold within you. This is the time to be accessing that wonderful power that you hold within yourself. And the sun 
father, son, the great light in the sky that provides us so much energy and nourishment throughout the year, but especially right now, this is the time to be returning to that and to welcoming the sun within your life. So before we step into the meditation, I just want to invite you that if this is something that especially speaks to you, I would love to work with you one-on-one. -on -one. I offer a free breakthrough session to explore what you are feeling most guided to reclaim in your life in terms of reclaiming the peace that you know is accessible and to returning to that power that you hold to rekindle the light that is within you and all of the goodness that lives there. So right now, I invite you to take some nice, deep breaths. And I should say that in order to apply for your free breakthrough session, all you need to do is click the link in bio and there's a button right there for you to learn more about your free breakthrough session with me, with Eco Intuitive Coaching. So bringing your palms to your heart, I'm really feeling that it would be especially beautiful and helpful for you to bring your palms to your heart center. <sighs> Taking some nice deep cleansing breaths. Returning to your presence. Really feel how you are so beautifully supported in this moment by Mother Earth, wherever you are whether you're indoors or outdoors. Mother Earth is providing you so much support and nourishment and love and wisdom and protection. So much to be reconnected with, with your sacred relationship with the Earth. And as you step into this sacred space of peace and presence with the earth. Allow yourself to imagine, if the sun is not shining on you right now, imagine the warmth of the sun shining on your body. Imagine that feeling that everything just feels so cozy and warm and vibrant and nurtured and nourishing and imagine how that warmth rekindles the fire that burns within every single cell of your body you have a fire that fiery energy in every part of you your physical body and your energetic body And acknowledge right here and now that you have the ability to rekindle that fire that will bring about vital healing for you. The kind of healing that will bring such a positive difference into your life. And pause for a moment here to welcome your soul's message, to welcome Mother Earth and the divine, the universe, to speak to you in a subtle, loving, beautiful voice. And that voice is telling you what is time to recommit to healing within you. What is time to recommit to healing within you? And know that it doesn't have to be something huge. It's all a matter of perspective. It's all a personal experience. What can you recommit to that you know will bring you healing that you are in need of? And the next message that you are healing is a, that you are hearing is a beautiful affirmation, a message of receptivity. And you will begin this message with, I am open to receiving. 
and hear what words naturally flow to you next. I am open to receiving. What are you open to receiving so that you can experience the healing that the summer season is offering to you? So taking that in and knowing that it is fully integrated within every aspect of you, whether you hear words or not, you may just hear, feel sensations or see colors or shapes, or you might hear something in particular. Know that whatever it is, whatever it is that you will be so benefited by recommitting to healing this summer, and whatever your receptivity message is, I am open to receiving. Those two things, you have heard it, it is being integrated throughout your entire body, and know that whenever you want to rekindle that, whenever you need to recommit and really feel the energy that you have, the ability, the power that you have to follow this soulful direction, just stand with the sun. Feel the sun upon your body in some way and feel how it is being rekindled, that power is being rekindled throughout your body. And know that that is nourishment. This is the time of nourishment as we welcome the summer solstice. So with that, I would love to thank you and end this meditation with a blessed be, sending you so many blessings of the summer solstice. I wish you all the best and remember that this entire week is a powerful time to reconnect with the light that is within you, to recommit to what will most heal you, and to hear that message of receptivity that will serve you throughout the summer months. It's always such a joy to connect with you here in our 15 or so minutes on Instagram Live every week. Remember, if you're interested in experiencing a free breakthrough session, all you need to do is click the link in bio or the link in the caption, and you'll be connected to learn more about that. I look forward to seeing you again next Monday at 2.30 p.m. Central Time with another episode of Reclaim Your Peace Through Mother Earth. Have a beautiful day, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.